In this video, I will showcase how you can use wireframe and apply it to your assets and environments. I have made the process incredibly simple so that a person who's never touched Unreal Engine before will be able to use wireframe without any issues. There are two distinctive components to wireframe, post-process materials and regular materials. The post-process materials are applied either to a post-process volume or a camera, meanwhile the regular materials are applied onto a mesh. The reason for there are two different types of materials is because of use cases. If you want to apply wireframe quickly to the entire world, you should use wireframe post-process materials. If you want to only apply wireframe to a single or a few meshes, use the regular materials. To apply wireframe to an asset, simply drag and drop the wireframe mesh material onto a 3D asset. Alternatively, you can set the material inside of the material sections within the details panel. If you want to showcase a wireframe on your mesh but still maintain the original mesh at the same location, you can use the overlay material slot. Overlay materials were added in Unreal Engine 5.1 and are super handy for adding effects such as the wireframe mesh material onto a mesh. However, don't worry. If you're still using the versions prior to Unreal Engine 5.1, I have created a blueprint which you can use to create the exact same effect. Simply drag and drop the blueprint into your scene, assign your mesh, and modify the settings to your liking. To use the post-process materials, you either need a camera or a post-process volume. In our case, I will simply add a post-process volume to our scene, but the process would be the exact same if you were to use a camera. Select the post-process volume and scroll down in the details panel until you find the rendering section. Expand the post-process material section and press the plus icon to add an array element. Press choose and then select asset reference. Now press the non button and assign the material of your choice. I suggest that you use the material starting with the letters MI. MI stands for material instance and these materials are children of the parent materials which start with the letter M. The material instance allow you to modify parameters in real time. To open up the material instance to gain access to all parameters, simply double click the material instance. Thank you very much for watching. You can find a link to wireframe in the description of this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.